Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to proceed here with a reading. Now the reading is called, Is He or She a Cheater? So we want to know, uh, have they been cheating? Are they cheating? Will they cheat? Um, so is this person, you know, weak and they cheat? Uh, that being said, uh, I have made 12 different videos. This one here is for the sign of Virgo. Um, so this way it's going to resonate better with you. It's not going to, it's going to be more narrow. It's not going to be for all 12 signs. So hopefully you'll get the message nice and clear. Um, if, however, you do have any um, questions you would like to have answered, you can always reach me. I am open right now for private readings. You can reach me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and um, I'll forward you the information on the different types of readings that I offer and uh, how to book them. Also, if you enjoy my channel, please do subscribe, show your love, and I will show you the messages. It's my only way of knowing that you enjoy the channel and that you want more from my channel is if you subscribe. So please do subscribe, like, share, send me some comments. I'd love to read your comments. And um, and I'll, I will continue to send you, you know, all these uh, beautiful messages and these different readings that I do all the time. So with no further ado, let's begin. I'm uh, using here um, the Before Tarot. I'm finishing it with the Oracle of Angels, and this is for June 18th, 2020. Don't think I mentioned it yet. So here we go. And uh, I didn't want to choose that one. I didn't want to turn it right away, but that's okay. I'll just hide it. So we have over here as a beginning, we have the Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands here. Um, is usually, you know, all about lovely little begins, beginnings and everything, but we are in reverse. Uh, this card usually is all about the potential, the possibility of creation. May it be a spiritual, may it be emotional, intellectual, physical. You have the possibilities for this. You have the possibilities for new beginnings in these, um, in these spheres, if you want. Um, now, this is also the symbol of higher thought, of separation between this world and the next world. Therefore, the hand coming out of the clouds and the ground and the grounding over here with the water and the emotions. Um, now, this here represents, uh, like I said, the rivers, the river of life. So this is just the, your life. Your life is flowing. It is going. You have many different uh, potentials. You have many different possibilities that are uh, there for you, waiting for you to grab them and act upon them. Um, but I do have to say that with this card being in reverse, it does mean that in this relationship, there, are there uh, there's going to be uh, some impotence, some delay, some frustration, um, some dissatisfaction. Action, uh, some destruction, uh, maybe even some violence and some cruelty. And to come over to correlate with this, we have the devil who is following in their next card. And the devil, well, you know, he's got these people trapped down here. And so this is you. You're feeling trapped in this relationship. You don't quite know how to undo yourself. You're waiting for somebody to undo. You're not going to do it yourself. Somebody is going to release you. Um, but what do you do? What's coming up next? These are all questions that you're wondering to yourself. You're trying to know. This is uh, this is a card about life without limits. Um, this is, uh, you know, this is feel free yet being pulled by different chains of limitations, of chaos. Um, this is a perversion that, you know, this is a temptation, it's obsession, it's greed, it's materialism, it's evil, it's darkness. Whatever you want that is awful, this is it. This is the devil. Um, you know, this is, this is not good and you're just just waiting to be released here. This is what you're waiting for. Um, you need to be released from all of these negative emotions, from all of this this state that you're in right now. And to follow it up over here, we have the justice. So you are going to be released. You are going to be wondering, though, what to do. You're going to have to find some balance here on uh, what you're going to do. You're going to have to serve justice well. Are you going to take up the sword and serve justice? Are you just going to balance it? Are you going to fly away as the bird, uh, as the dove? What are you going to do? This is the justice that you are going to do for yourself in this relationship because the devil here is the partner and the partner does um, does have some cheating actions. Um, so following up here, we have 
the Oracle card who tells us choose a new direction. So um, this will be up to you when you're going to do your justice for yourself and for this partner. To decide uh, what are you going to do? Are you going to listen to the oracle and choose a new direction? Or are you going to continue in this direction but try and repair it? Try and get maybe some um, some outside help? Try and um, try and patch things up. This will be up to you to decide. So that being said, this is the ending for this reading. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I hope it brought you some clarity, some messages. Um, I do wish you a lovely day filled of courage, filled of many, many blessings. Please do not forget to subscribe before leaving my channel. And uh, we will see each other tomorrow for a daily snapshot. Thank you so much for your support. Have a great day.